This is your daily market review for Tuesday, August 13th, 2024. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at eXp Realty, aka The Trading Agent. This is your daily market review for Tuesday, August 13th, 2024. PPI data came out this morning, came in cooler than expected. Not surprised. I think a lot of people were expecting that. As we talked about, the economy slowing. Producer prices are just not being able to be passed down onto consumers. And when that happens, obviously PPI will come down. Now, the market reaction near term is rather interesting. We got the squeeze into the close, which again, it feels like that was the capitulation. I don't know necessarily what will happen tomorrow with the CPI, but if I had to guess, again, based on the reoccurring action, if it pops, it's a trap. If it misses, it's, you know, and again, def you don't even know what a miss really means, what the reaction will be. In my opinion, again, we got the VIX 60 last week, you squeeze up, now they're putting pressure back on bulls and bears to chase action, and this is the kind of action you look for to look for counter trend stuff. As we talked about last week, again, you had to be careful. If you got in early, you stopped out. If you layer in and you're just not comfortable with it, this is where, again, you take profits. Again, I said this many times, the safest trade I thought going into this was the TLT bouncing. Some of these tech names, some of these names look interesting at levels, but not made a move yet on some things. Again, so we'll talk about it. Check out, you know, check out this whole video for more insights on the levels and what to expect. I think you'll see going into again the rest of the week, CPI tomorrow, and then you have a ton of data on Thursday as well, and it's options expiration. So we talked about up part of the week, down part of the week. Well, it looks like up to start the week. Again, follow on the Twitter, post in all of our trades, thoughts, ideas. If you need to chat, use the Calmly link. Let's figure it out. Open seven days a week, 24 hours. No, just kidding. Always available, potentially. Just check out the Zooms. You'll see if I got other meetings potentially lined up. If I don't, awesome. Let's connect. Again, if you're looking to buy, sell, invest in real estate and you do not hit me up and you watch this channel regularly, rather disappointing. Helping out a lot of people on the side. Got three deals closing in the next couple weeks, all from folks who just list, you know, used agents that I helped them find. And again, it, it wasn't easy. It's not always easy. Some deals are easier than others. But again, every market's different. That's why you want a pro on your side. Do not list with your uncle, aunt, a friend. Make sure they know what they're doing. And when I say know what they're doing, experience. Let me vet them again versus clicking on Zillow, Redfin. Oh, I mean, there's so many ways to find agents. Allow me to help you out. You get two for the price of one. Check out the website again. Get a chance. Turn profits into properties and passive income. That is the goal. Got all your education, your recommended reading, your interactive brokers, all sorts of fun stuff. And you have the back to basics, but it's also on YouTube. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Again, we'll probably do a live chat tomorrow or Thursday, depending on timing. Again, I appreciate all the love, support, generous donations. You guys are awesome. So we know going into next meeting in September, as the market rises, this is gonna to continue to drop. The odds are gonna you know, probably drop of a 50 basis point cut. Now with the PPI today, I think people kind of anticipated like, oh good. Well remember, we've talked about 50 basis rate cut is not good for the kind of stock market. Again, it shows you things are slowing quickly. So be careful again, be careful what you wish for bulls, bears, whatever. Bitcoin, 60,000 level, chopping around here. It looks like it could wouldn't be surprised if it came down. I don't know if you tra tried to build another trend line somewhere in the 68. If it does go, if it doesn't, well, it's going to chop around like oil, chop, chop, natural gas. As we talked about, we like natural gas long term, but waiting for significantly bigger smash downs in the market, which will probably pull natural gas down by nature. We talked about it. It's very simple, right? Womp, womp. Dollar. Interesting action today. Breaking our range lows again. Things that you wouldn't see if the economy's strong. Dollar weakness. Just keep an eye on this. Could it be a trap? Doesn't really feel like it. Again, strongest trade we talked about. Easiest trade. Buying the dip here. Taking profits. Said watch for backups to add. Because again, nothing goes in a straight line. I get so many people expect straight line moves all the time. And it boggles my mind because it's not that, it's not that in the chart. You just don't see it in the charts, but they're basing it off their emotions. Here we go. Again, I thought the safest trade going into the CPI, PPI data was this stuff, even though the market has held up. VIX, check this out, right? Hmm. Filling gaps. 
below the 20 day. Oof. I mean, we've had, I mean, that's the first move I've ever seen where the, you know, again, look at the Vivix getting crushed. Vivix back to the 20. I mean, I've never seen a 60 to 20, 65 down to 20 in five days, six days. I know there's a lot of people saying, oh, this, everything's okay, you know, or not okay, but like, I don't know, like, oh, this is typical market action. No, this is not. This is a big move very quickly down as well. Keep that in mind. So again, will it be, is it over? I feel like, again, if you look at the spy, it looks like a trap into the close. <laughs> is the 50 day possible tomorrow morning? That's where I'd be looking for shorting 50 day. If it gets a pop, I can also wouldn't be surprised by like this counter trend and then kapow. That's my idea on that. Again, could be wrong. QQQ got some tech pop today, right? Okay. Could we get up there? Maybe. You had the doji sandwich, a gap up, went with, closed at the high of the day, 20 day. Again, it's hard to chase today's action and really do anything. And that's where, again, if you did, you layered in and you just you find your risk. IWM, 50 day, again, keeping an eye on it. Dia, pop, pop, fizz, fizz, whatever relief it is. Here you go, filled the gap. Keep an eye on it, 20 day curling down. Gold, again, this is where it gets choppy, sloppy. It is holding up, but it's not, you know, silver's not falling. This is where it, you just, you gotta be careful. Talked about oversold silver miners holding up pretty well, considering again this part of the nature of the beast. You can see there's a little trend line here potentially. Let's see if we can crash over it. But over the 20 days, been a trap the last couple of times, so it's just worth watching. Again, I I believe in this stuff long term, but I just don't want to chase it here and I let it let it all play out. AEM's been holding up pretty well. Again, this has been the strongest of the strong. AG <clears throat> again, this thing has been kind of poop, but it's just chopped around off the lows. Newmont, again, this thing should be in the 80s. Uh, I mean, again, if you zoomed out, you would say, we'll see why it's weak, but coming into resistance, chopping around, it's really hard to know in your term. Again, I don't see these things going anywhere until the Fed's officially pivot past 100 days. Well, all right, Ty, let's get into some of the tech names because this is where they get interesting, right? I expected the 0.618 on Taiwan Semi after it kind of chopped around here. I mean, you filled a gap today. Did I take anything? No. Just kind of hanging out and watching. If I miss some stuff, I miss some stuff. I got some other shorts. But that one looks very interesting to me. Micron, we talked about these being oversold. Bouncing. AMD, again, all these things we said they're due to bounce. 20-day. NVIDIA got some interesting news today. For competition from China. I, I, don't, I really don't understand how, again, this makes sense. It's popping. Posted this today. They said, you know what? Got a gap over the 20-day. Either it's a trap. And we could get get up to the 50 day or it's gonna gap down tomorrow. Again, if you didn't grab any today, I understand. Just it's not easy. It's just not easy. I'm trying to see if there's any other trends or anything you should be looking for, but that's part of trading, right? Like imagine if you shorted Starbucks and you've been killing it and you never took any profits, your profits got taken. This is what I was trying to like warn people of. Like you gotta be careful in a trader's market. And SMCI oversold bounce, hits the eight and ten day, chopping around, Intel. Talked about this one being oversold, right? Like this thing has just been pummeled. All right, chop it around, just keep an eye on it. SMH got a nice pop today, right? With all these names, 100 day coming in, 20 day, you're at it. Just keep, again, mark the levels. Adobe, trend line coming in, 200 day, maybe. Apple makes no sense, but okay. Buffett needs to sell more, I guess, rip it higher. I mean, could you get up to 224? It's always possible. It feels like a novice gap trap. <sighs> Probably should have taken some today, but just kind of being patient. Second mouse gets the cheese. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And long, I'm gone. Strong, whatever you want to do. Like there's a lot of opportunities out there. And that's where, again, it's like just 10 cuidado. Be careful. When in doubt, trade around it. Uh, Amazon, 200 day. There you go. Meta said this looked interesting up here, but said just be careful. Look at you have a doji sandwich back at the range highs. That looks very juicy. CRM, as we've talked about this one, 200 day chopping around. Big choppy range, really hard to really reference anything there. Guggenheim, not surprised. This is like, talk about filling the gap at some point, but this thing has been rather laggy. Same with Microsoft. I know they're up today a decent amount, but I don't know, I thought they'd be up here, right? No, 200 day, bunch of reference spots. Again, just keep an eye on it. NDAQ, again, I love the short up here. I think it makes sense. You're getting gifts up here. Might man, that I have to go back on the freaking immediate watch list to short that thing. Take a note of that as we speak. MicroStrategy got the big split chopping around. As long as Bitcoin holds sixty thousand, this is probably chopping around one thirty nine, one forty. 
Netflix, nice pop today. Again, they pop, they chase some of these tech names. 50 day, again, this is the problem with straight line moves though, right? At worst, you're gonna get into chop or you're gonna pull back. Just be careful. Roblox, 40 area plus has been struggle bus. Pan W had a nice move right off the lows from like two, what, 90 to 85. Coming into the range highs, again, this is a lot of movement quickly. And again, at worst, you get into chop, at worst, or it could be tops. You got to be careful. If you were bullish, please. It's just like shorts when the VIX hit 60. You got to take your profits. You got to trade around your positions. If you want to just hold them forever, I wish you the best of luck. I hope your profits don't get taken. Tesla popped today. I guess that Elon interview felt good. 50 day, I'd be watching 211. Any other thoughts, questions? Holler again, stop in the middle of it, just pause, drop a comment, DM me, drop in the Discord room. Again, tech is tech has gotten back overbought, some of this stuff for sure. Insight, again, talked about liking this long term. The 50s make sense to me. McDonald's chopping around this 270 plus area. Keep an eye on it, because again, I mean, these names, I don't see how they're making money. They can't pass on their prices. DKNG. We talked about oversold, chopping around, not surprised. Airbnb, same thing, oversold, chopping around, right? Trash kind of floating here. Talked about this gap down, it's probably oversold. Costco holding up pretty damn well. Credit where credit's due, but look, it's getting a little tired. Starbucks, again, they steal Chipotle CEO. If you never took any profit, ouch, 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 ouch. Near term, oh, somewhere. I mean, it's it, that's a big move. It's gonna have to digest. He's gonna have to talk and explain his next, his ideas, his goals, premonitions of what to expect. Got it. FedEx we talked about this one, head and shoulders top. Talked about it being oversold near term. Not surprised. I mean, I'd be watching this area around through two eighty five. Caterpillar, same kind of thing, chopping around. Fifty day, twenty day, fifty day, twenty day. Go with very simple. Deer earnings. Dear earnings coming up. We talked about this range lows. It made sense if it pops. Just saying that they have earnings on Thursday afternoon. So just be careful. Maybe there's a short squeeze into it. Nucor talked about these steel names just not looking so good. However, X to me gets bought out if Kamala's in control and they're actually leading in the polls, which I don't believe, but seems to be holding up. Valet, we like Valet. Just these things get oversold, bounces. Arrow, copper, we like copper, right? We like copper long term, but. These names just, again, you just got to be careful. CCJ, like these names, just let them chop around. They're just, they don't look like they're in pole position. CF, we talked about this is the ag name that has been leading, but you're coming into resistance up here. Take a siesta. Mosaic, we said these names look very interesting down here as they've been oversold. Same thing with NTR, like looking very oversold. Uh, AA Aaron, same thing. Gets pummeled, pops back. This is the market, y'all. This is how it works. It doesn't go down in straight lines. It doesn't go up in straight lines. This makes sense. I hope so. XLF, speaking of like financials, interesting in this area, right? 20 day right there, curling. Ah, JP Morgan, again, if they're not buying back their own stock, why would you? You got 20 day and a gap fill. You had so many things going off today that made sense to me for shorting and financials. Morgan Stanley, 100 day gap fill. Bank of America, again, Buffett can't sell fast enough. Chopping up here. If you see the 100-day, probably a good place to take a rip on it. Short, Goldman Snacks. This one's holding up pretty well. Again, this one will be a little harder. I mean, but you heard a reference. Look, high volume highs and lows. Love to retest. 490s. Oh, chopping around. KRE, right? We talked about this being dead caddish. I mean, this is nothing. Nothing. XBI. Keep it on this one, right? Talked about baby bio man that could be a dead cat bounce failure we talked about housing right look at the housing index like you got to be kidding me right lagging the last couple days but i'd be man if you see that 20 day range highs around 112 pop that i was gonna say something mean but I, or something dirty but can't say it tan we talk about solar dead cat bounces dead cat bounces man, i can't believe sedge is at 21 remember this is at 300 ENPH near term holds range highs or range lows bounces. Now you got all these moving averages. I mean, 119 would be a nice short for solar. We talked about this is gonna be hard. It's not gonna be straight line down. Look at this 50 day gap fills. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. two thirties. HYG again in my mind. You got to be high out of your mind buying corporate debt, holding up pretty well for what it is. Just again, be thoughtful. 
Oil, as we talked about, oversold, over, over, you know, overbought, coming off range lows, and it's going up on geopolitical concerns. It's just going to be a big, choppy, sloppy mess. I just warn people, please be careful. UNG, again, I hate the UNG. I think it's a terrible product. The short is KOLD. If you got it up in the 80s, I think you'll get another opportunity at some point. You might even get 90s if the market gets silly. Uh, XOP, again, we talked about the oil name being oversold, hitting ranges. Man, that's not strong today. CVE, they don't really look that good. Some of these names look better than others, but oversold bounces. That's what they look like to me. Valero, gasoline names, been chopping, going nowhere. NPC, chopping, chop, chop, chop. Exxon Mobil, looks like it's going to break out. Looks like it wants to get there, and then it gaps down today. That's really confusing. Because Typically, gap downs off the highs last more than a day or two. So just... Again, be careful. Occidental, big choppy trading range. We talked about Buffett just loving this, right? Like he's just selling stock. Sorry, selling cover calls, selling puts, selling cover calls. He's just loving this game, right? Just be careful. EQT, again, we like the natural gas stands, but these are all big consolidation patterns. Nothing really much to say. I mean, you can see that's just all they are. And last but not least, Flex LNG, because I think we'll be natural gas exporter. So again, if you're new to the channel, I appreciate the love, support, generous donations. Leave a comment below if you have a question. Do not hesitate to reach out. Again, this market's not easy. If you're looking for certainty, do not trade. If you're looking to trade around probabilities, levels, and actions, again, where you can be wrong, you're not looking for certainty, but you're pro probability-based trading, then holler. Let me know how I can help. I hope you have a great evening. And again, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Oh, I forgot. Nope, I'm good. Talk to you guys and gals later. Peace.